The Israeli military discovered and destroyed several more underground tunnels during its operations in the Gaza Strip. According to them, these tunnels were used by Palestinian radicals. This was reported by the press service of the Israeli army to IT was noted that in general, the army destroyed more than 20 kilometers of tunnel in the central part of the enclave this time, the press service said that these underground communications connected the northern and southern parts of the enclave, but citing current and former US officials, the New York Times reported recently, that Israel has not been able to dismantle Gaza's extensive tunnel system that runs for hundreds of miles, at points, reaching 15 stories below ground. The system contains larger complexes of underground rooms, used for command posts, it added, despite Hamas's heavy losses, much of its top leadership in Gaza remains in place, ensconced in a vast underground network of tunnels and operation centers, the report said. Those tunnels will allow Hamas to survive and reconstitute once the fighting stops, the New York Times reported. This labyrinth of bunkers and tunnels, equipped with water, electricity and mechanical or natural ventilation, serves as a refuge for Hamas, but also houses command posts, ammunition storage, weapons workshops, and more. Above all, this network poses a permanent threat to the Israeli army, which can never be sure that Palestinian fighters will not emerge from the ground in the territories it has conquered. Kim Jong-un's sister, calls South Korean officials scared barking dogs. The younger sister of North Korean chairman Kim Jong-un, who is tipped by some experts to be the successor to the North Korean leader in response to direct threats from Seoul, again spoke out about a possible conflict with South Korea. According to the Central Telegraph Agency of North Korea, Kim Yo-jong warned Seoul that if the South Korean authorities counting on US help decide to attack a neighboring state, they will receive such a response that the Republic of Korea will cease to exist. The sister of the North Korean leader compared the behavior of South Korean officials to the barking of a frightened dog. A scared dog barks well, but recently the leaders of the Korean puppet military gang have gone beyond all limits with their barking. If they, relying on their master, try to take military action against us, they will be immediately destroyed. Kim Yo-jong warned, Addressing the patron of the South Korean authorities, Kim Jong-un's sister said that the United States, together with its allies, hopes in vain to defeat the North Korea in the military confrontation. She said the US should not instill reckless courage in South Korea and continue to boast of strength by threatening North Korea's security. Such behavior will lead to the fact that the United States itself will be in danger. We will continue to accumulate overwhelming and powerful military power to protect our sovereignty and security. Peace in the region, said Kim Yo-jong. Another round of tension and mutual threats on the Korean peninsula began after the North Korean military conducted tactical exercises simulating a nuclear counter-attack using super-large multiple launch rocket systems. As usual, Kim Jong-un personally monitored the progress of the exercises. It is reported that the 600mm MLRS batteries accurately hit the island target at a distance of 352 kilometers. After this, the South Korean Foreign Ministry stated that the North Korea faces the end of the regime if nuclear weapons are used. The head of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the Republic of Korea at a meeting with the military of an elite counter-terrorism unit said that special forces must be ready to eliminate the leadership of a neighboring state in the event of a direct military conflict. Elon Musk warns civil war in Western countries will start anyway, whether we want it or not. Increasing internal political contradictions, conflicts, on religious and ethnic grounds, problems with migrants can lead not only to new mass protests and clashes with the police, but also cause large-scale civil wars in Western countries. American entrepreneur Elon Musk made such a rather gloomy forecast on his social network account, commenting on the publication of Canadian professor Gad Saad, in which the scientist warned that the migration policy adopted in the West would result in the beginning of a civil war, Musk, as always, succinctly wrote, the war will start anyway, whether we want it or not. Earlier, the European Parliament, after almost 10 years of discussions and agreements, adopted a new pact regarding the migration policy of the European Union. 
The document turned out to be very controversial and once again emphasised disagreements on this issue both in the political elites of the EU countries and in society. On the one hand, the pact provides for tougher immigration laws. In particular, new rules are being established that provide for increased control at external borders and faster procedures for the expulsion of those who do not have the right to be on the territory of the Union. At the same time, the reform provides for a more equitable distribution of migrants across different EU countries, which should reduce the burden on the so-called first-line states that suffer most from the influx of migrants. However, not everyone in the European Union agrees with the new rules. Hungarian Minister of Foreign Affairs and External Economic Relations Peter Siato said Budapest will not allow in illegal migrants despite the new pact. Supporters of the law, who campaigned for its passage amid the rise of the far right ahead of European Parliament elections in June, hailed the move as a major victory. In contrast, European non-profit human rights organisations have called the sweeping changes to EU migration legislation a step backwards for human rights.